Uh, today I'm going to be talking about um, alternative energy sources, uh, but mainly I'm going to be focusing on ones that um, help the air, uh, help decrease the air pollution that has been going on um, throughout worldwide. Uh, the main the main uh, the main alternative energy source I'll be speaking about is using electric cars instead of um, um, gas fueled cars. Because I, for one, would like to breathe in 40 years and allow not having to wear the little face mask, you know, the one I'm talking about, the one you put on. Then, after maybe like 40 years after that, you'd probably have to upgrade it into a gas mask. I would like to wear that. I don't need to come home this morning now. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine yourself coming in just waking up and then you have to be like, all right, honey, I'm leaving, and then it's. All right. But, all right. All right, the three main uh, focuses I'll be focusing on are the advantages of the electric car, its disadvantages, and the harm that a gas fuel cars have on the planet. Advantages. Other than the main, other than the main help it does with decreasing the CO2 emissions in the air, that is such, that is that causes a domino effect in such a in such a positive manner because it <coughs> helps to benefit a lot of the other varieties and categories of harm that, it can, that CO2 have, has been causing, such as it has been damaging our ozone layer, as said by BC Air Quality. Um, they have noted that the ozone layer is the protective layer of the Earth, and thanks to the increase in gas emissions and CO2 that has been frozen in the air, uh, there have been now gaps made in our shield, so allowing more UV which is ultraviolet radiation from the sun to enter the earth. And that causes also a bunch of damage because that hurts animal skin, animal, humans, and plants, because it can cause either skin cancer or increased chance of uh, um, sunburn. And for all those who burn easily, now you're gonna be roasted, because I can just imagine you on the beach, now instead of being a, a light red, now you're just a pot roast. Uh, yeah, just sleeping now, you not you not you not you not long get away with sunburn. Now you're just a pot roast. You are just like you are baked. <laughs> That's bad for all of you easy burners, because I know how that looks. All right. uh, it also de it also decreases um, the amount of temperature that has been increasing throughout the world. So, um, that which is global warming, since that's been a critical issue. And now this will decrease um, the amount of global warming and be. Uh, on Earth, since that would also help with um, the, the slope, would also help slow down the ice caps from melting as fast, which would also help with the sea level to stop rising, which would cause less tidal waves and other uh, and other places from being flooded. All right. Disadvantages with the electric car: it would have mo it would mostly it would mainly be an economic disaster because a lot of the companies would be unhappy with the said replacement because a lot of people depend on these gas emission cars. A lot of people are working for them, a lot of people are building for them. But and as I mentioned it's and the oil the, the price for and the, the price for oil would be horrific since mm -hmm. I mean it'd be worth very cheap now, it wouldn't be worth as much and valued as, as it is today. Since it wouldn't be sold as often. Uh, it's also going to be causing a, a huge um, increase in the unemployment area, which also is very affordable indeed. And it would be something I, I cannot just pass by for all you people who would like to work in building cars. Now you're kind of almost out of work if you have to switch your gears into now electric cars. on the electric cars is because of all the we call the damage of uh, uh, gas emission cars does. And that is the amount of, the amount of CO2 it produces into the air, which is twenty two point three eight pounds. And that's per gallon. And but the amount but the normal amount for a human is two point three. So a ga a gallon uh, let's see a gallon per car, and per human, that would equal 20, 20 people per gallon is what a car emits. So, and the 
cars equal to a total of 83% of all the reason why CO2 is being pumped into the air. That's 83% of being a decrease if we were to switch to electric cars. So overall, I think that uh, we, should, we should switch uh, gas, gas, emitted, gas emitted cars with electric cars. And that's my presentation. So Bianca, what did you think? Oh, apparently Bianca's not with us. Okay, well that'll make this quicker. Um, you started with uh, an identification of the topic, so there's no attention device. I thought that was strange. Uh, your topic is okay, that you're going to talk about alternative energy, but primarily you're going to talk about electric cars. Uh, electric cars aren't exactly the same thing as alternative energy, although they use electricity. I think there's a, a the relationship here to the energy issue. I think that needs to be a lot clearer. There's basically a preview, but it says advantages and disadvantages, so it sounds like it's an informative speech rather than a persuasive presentation. Uh, the visualization, the negative visualization that you have, I think is an interesting one, and there's some funny little bits of business that you do there to make it memorable, but you don't have any evidence to support it, any reason to believe that those circumstances are likely or probable, except that you kind of have visualized it that way. Uh, the stuff about the dangers of CO2 in the atmosphere, uh, and you mentioned uh, the ozone layer, you talk about global warming, and I don't really hear any source citations for any of that material, and what proportion of that is a result of uh, automobile use of uh, fossil fuels is not particularly well explained. Uh, the idea that we would be able to prevent this or stop it by moving to electric cars, that I think that's the argument that you're trying to make here, but you don't do a very clear job of suggesting that that's what people ought to be thinking about doing. In fact, when you start talking about the potential disadvantages of moving to electric cars, uh, you give us a, a whole bunch of reasons why doing that is potentially uh, problematic. By the way, I'm not quite sure why it is a switch in the type of cars that is being produced uh, means that there are going to be fewer people working in those factories. Um, that just seems to be a strange assumption on your part, and I think you need, and, and by the way, it's an assumption that runs contrary to the position that you're taking, so that's confusing. It got a little confusing when you made, you did try to cite some information in the presentation about the number of pounds of CO2 in the atmosphere that are a result of the operation of a car, and you start comparing that to human beings, and I'm not sure why I'm getting that comparison and how it's supposed to be used. I guess if we all walked, then you know, 10 or 20 people would represent the same amount of CO2 in the atmosphere as an automobile represents, but you're talking about electric cars, so my question is, how much does an electric car reduce the emission of CO2 in the atmosphere, and how big an impact will that have on global warming and on uh, the, uh, the, the pollution issues that you're talking about? And I don't have any idea because there's not really any follow-up on that. Uh, you do okay looking at the audience. I think that uh, you know, you're not shy about having to speak in front of a group of people, but I don't think that you've built much of an argument here, and as a result, you don't have much to sell us uh, in terms of the content. I think that that's problematic. All right, thank you.